Okay, now I'm going to show you how I do a baked potato in my little lunchbox cooker. Since most people know how to cook a baked potato, I'm not going to show every little detail, but I've got out my little cooker here. I've already picked out my potato. I've poked it all over with a fork and i um, going to put it into the pan. Okay, now you got two different methods you could use here. One is you could leave it in the pan just like this, um, but as I said in my last video, uh, doing like this, you end up with a hot spot on the bottom. Uh, if you like your baked potato with a dry skin, this is the method you're going to want to use. You're going to want to turn it over about every half hour to keep it from getting a hot burn spot on the bottom. Um, but uh, the method I use is um, I, I like to eat the skin. So what I do is I add a little water to the bottom. Add that in there. Now using the uh, water method, uh, since water boils at 212 degrees, um, that's going to help keep the temperature down. Um, it's not going to rise, the temperature inside isn't going to rise much above that until all the water boils off. Um, and that's not going to happen. Um, this uh, acts a little bit like a pressure cooker. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of pressure is able to build up, build up once you uh, close the lid. Um, so uh, you're effectively steaming the potato. Um, and it makes the skin nice and soft. If you like to eat the skin, then that's, this is the method you're going to want to use. Um, if you don't like the skin, then it'll just peel right off. I mean, it's super easy peeling off. Um, so we're going to close the lid here. Um, I'm going to set my timer for an hour and a half. Um, after an hour and a half, it's ready to eat. Um, you can cook it for longer than that if, uh, if, if after an hour and a half, if, um, if you don't have a safe place to stop or, or if you're just not ready to eat yet. Um, you can easily take it up past that. Um, I don't know how long you can leave it in there before it's just not good to eat. Um, I've cooked it for an hour and 45 minutes before, um, and I really can't tell the difference between that and an hour and a half. You know, it's low temperature cooking, so it's not going to change much quickly. So um, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to plug it in now and set my timer for one hour and a half. Okay, here's my baked potato. Um, I didn't put in enough water, and the water boiled off, and I ended up getting that hot spot. And this is uh, the bottom of the potato. Um, the skin from this part had um, uh, stuck to the bottom. The rest of it is extremely uh, soft, nice. Potato cuts up real easy. Just look at all that steam coming off of it. That is one hot potato. So uh, I'm going to stop videoing uh, for a moment and um, add some stuff to it. And then um, I'll show you what you can do with your baked potato. Okay, my baked potato is now mashed potato. Um, I added in a little bit of butter and some milk and mix that up. Um, salted to taste. And now I have some tasty mashed potatoes. Now I mentioned that the water had boiled off. Um, I'd like to mention that um, whenever you've got water or any significant moisture content in the food that you're cooking, you might want to set the cooker on a couple sheets of paper towel because that water or other moisture is going to push out around um, the, uh, the seal um, of the cooker. You know, it, it is going to create steam and push out. And um, so I've got it, I always set mine on the floor. And if it's just water pushing out, you know, that's no big deal. Um, that'll uh, dry up or I can mop it up. Um, but I uh, just want to let you know that, yeah, it's going to create a wet spot wherever it's sitting. So you might want to set it on something. So here's my mashed potatoes, nice and hot. Or I could have uh, just eaten it as a straight baked potato. Um, add yourself some uh, shredded cheese to it. Um, if you've got some bacon pre-cooked up or buy yourself some bacon bits, hey, this, this is potatoes. You can add whatever you want to it, just like you do at home in your own kitchen. So there you go. Uh, mashed potatoes or baked potatoes uh, right here on the truck. Nice hot food.